Hi, just thought I'd share the load I use the most. The only problem with it is if reloading components are tight, these are the first ones that are going to run out. Anyone who reloads is going to recognize this stuff. Varget. I use it in both 223 and 308. I find it's probably my most used powder aside from IMR 4895, which I use quite a bit for 308 also. But the 223 really likes the Varget. And the bullet is a Sierra 69 grain all point boat tail. Now they say only for whoops only for one in ten or tighter twist rates. I have had the opportunity to to try the basic load in a Remington 700 1 in 12 and it did work. It was fine in 100 meters. It just wasn't as accurate as it, it was out of the Savage 12. In fact, it was it was probably better off that I used Hornady Steel Match than this out of the 1 in 12 twist, which is a lighter bullet and it's a, a cheap, accurate load. So it, it's probably not worth it unless you have a, a rifle that's kind of built to take it. But here's what the actual bullet looks like. Get the camera to focus on this. As you can see, the hollow point is just, it's not, it, it's not going to do really much for expansion. So this isn't really a good hunting round or anything like that. I'm, I'm sure it would work just fine on varmints. You want to make go away, but before I forget, the velocity is 3,000 feet per second for this load. I, did, I didn't have my crony out when I was shooting all these targets, so there's no notes on them. But it, it's, I've been using this load for long enough now that I don't, don't even bother croning. I just know what it's going to be. And it's, it's between 2980 and 3010 is pretty much the extremes of it. So it's, it's pretty, pretty much averages just a tad under 3000 feet per second. For my ballistics calculation, I just call it 3000 feet per second and I'm good. And with further ado, those are the Winchester white box, get the right targets out. I shot 50 rounds at 100 meters, and the worst and best was this. Here was the worst. Camera doesn't like fast movement. <laughs> it's a cheap video camera. I'm not sure why I'm surprised by that. That's the details for the load. It's all going to show the same details other than the range, so pause here and jot the notes down. I should make note that my 25.8 grains of Varget, my scale reads light. So I'm probably actually right on 26 grains of Varget, where if you look up, look up this particular combination of components, you'll see a lot of people are, are using this. This is, this was by no means my brainchild. I didn't I, I went right to this plus did some workups and this was correct. Here was the it was actually the second best. I lost the best uh, I think the best I got 0.3 and I have no idea where I put it. I put it somewhere safe where I wouldn't lose it and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> it's just the way I that's kind of the way I roll. But that 100 meters, it's it's a nice accurate sub MOA load. Very useful, but where it really shines is longer range. And in this case, I was at 240 meters. I'm gonna try get a get a bunch and show them for 500 meters. For some reason, I never saved them, and they weren't bad targets per se. Okay, worst first. This one I knowingly pulled. I shot this group of three, then pulled that one. I knew I had done it. And I was kind of just hastily did the last shot, and that was that one up there. So I kind of screwed up the group. But even once I once I got got in there and took a look at it, I was still sub MOA. 
so I, I kept it. <laughs> I thought I was just going to go, you know what, this was just so badly done. So, despite my worst efforts, <laughs> the, load, the load performs. I'm kind of your worst case scenario. There we go. That was with a very hot barrel. That's how much it'll loosen up with the, the barrel just too hot to touch almost. Again, I should throw the... so you see the range. And this is kind of the, the norm for this particular load. Just a tad, any, it, over, over one inch up to about an inch and a half is usually what I perform with, with this particular load. And I, f I figured that's worthy of mention at 240 meters, which is 262 yards, which is, yards is what most people use for measuring distances for shooting. I always go meters for some reason. That was my best group of the day, just over an inch, unfortunately. But that really wouldn't show the normal ability I have with uh, with this load. Normally, I'm I am just about an inch and a quarter, which is plenty good for me. Keep in mind, I'm not the I'm not the steadiest person in the world, so I'm really. I'm a good one to do this video because I'm kind of the worst case scenario. It's not like I'm a, an expert or anything like that. I'm not the steadiest and all that shooting was done on gravel on top of a tarp. And a lot what was happening is as I was shooting, the bipod would dig in further and further and kind of tweak over to an angle. I'd try and keep it straight, but as anyone who does any long-range shooting. If your angle isn't perfect, if you start moving it a few degrees off, your whole group just starts to shift over. And if you're doing that mid-group, mid your group's going to lose a, a fair bit of accuracy if you aren't keeping the gun perfectly level. So I am losing a bit of accuracy that way. Just because I'm not being picky on my shooting surface, I'm basically finding a, a reasonably flat piece of turf, throwing a tarp down so nothing crawls on me, and chucking the rifle down and going to town. I'm not shooting at a range, I'm out in the, the boonies. So depending on where I am, my, my range varies. I do have a good range finder, so I kind of know what I'm doing that way. But I don't always get a perfectly round number for my ranges. As if you've watched my some of my other videos, you may know. Actually, I think I only have 100 meter stuff so far. I do have some steel plate stuff at 200-225, again, rough, rough wood shooting basically. But anyway, there you have it. This is a really good load. It works well at 2.26, so if you're an AR shooter and you have a 1 in 10 or tighter barrel, this is a really good load. I really recommend it. The only downside is when components get tight, these are the first ones to go, particularly the Varga. Anyway, uh, leave a comment if you have anything you'd like to say or anything you'd like to see. And if you have any load data you'd like to share, please do. I'm always interested in new and different things and hope you enjoy this. Have a good day.